Good day, Chino Valley. This is your quick video that will get you started using Screencastify. Screencastify is a tool that will record whatever is on your screen. And if you wish, it can record your face in the lower right hand corner. And it can even record your face entirely if you wish. To use Screencastify the very first time, you will be asked to log in. First, this image right here is a little icon that you will find in the uh, URL bar area to the right of your URL bar in Chrome. It's already been pushed out to you. And so when you click on it, a screen will open asking you to log in to Google. And you should click on the blue button and log in with your district Google account. Once you've done that, it's time to start using the product. When you see a screen that you would like to record, go ahead and tap on that little icon in Chrome to open Screencastify, and this is the first screen you will see. Now I see the first thing at the top is you notice there's a five minute limit per video. I'll be showing you in a separate video how to upgrade, because in the meantime I'd like you to get used to the free version. There are three icons immediately below the name, browser tab, desktop and webcam. Desktop is what you'll use most of the time. Browser tab will just show the one tab that you've selected among many tabs you may have open. And webcam is what's pointed at your face. Down here you have your microphone turned on and as you are about to record, if you're going to use your voice, make sure that you see this little tiny green thing grow and shrink with your voice. That will indicate that your microphone is working. If it's not, or if you don't see any movement here, you'll click on this little arrow and select which microphone and camera you'll be using. Make sure that is pink, indicating it's turned on. And this here may be gray if you do not wish your face to be in the corner. Or if you tap it and it's pink, it will enable your face to be about a um, two by two inch square in the lower right hand corner. If you open more options from uh, the uh, previous screen, you will see that it has a countdown control. The default is three seconds, but you may modify that. You may choose drawing tools that are available to you as it is recording. Again, pink means it's on. And you may modify the system audio or show the little screen in the lower right hand corner and what your face looks like as you're recording. But when you're ready to record, you're just going to tap the blue button that says record and you're on. I should mention if you have more than one screen, you will have to tap on whichever one you want to be recording. I'm going to choose screen one and when I do, there will be a little blue line around it and this button will turn blue. I'll tap on share and begin my recording. And now I am recording in Screencastify. And you can see my drawing tools are down here in the lower left hand corner. If I pick up a pen, I can change its color and I can point to what I'm hoping students will notice. I can change the color again and point to something else. I can pause, my, I said pause my recording and I can start it back up again. I can also, uh, Take this mouse pointer and make it more um, dominant. And finally, I can close out these tools and simply use this mouse to move around the screen. You'll notice that this is still here. Um, the drawing tools you'll need to practice with. But when I'm done, I'm going to find at the bottom of my screen a blue button that says stop sharing and I will stop sharing. Then what will happen is this video will automatically start rendering in a new tab on my, in my browser and I can make some choices about it, which I will show you here in a second. As soon as I tapped on stop sharing and I finished recording, a new tab opened up in my Chrome browser and it started rendering the video that I just prepared. And you can see several things here. First of all, almost immediately, there's a blue button in the upper right hand corner that says copy shareable link. So Screencastify makes a link to this video available immediately. Over here is the video itself though, and you might want to check that out. It'll automatically start playing. You can unmute it so you can hear your voice. 
And you might want to vet it and make sure there's no weird sounds in the background or you didn't somehow misspeak. But if you're ready to share it right away, maybe throw it into an email or throw it into um, your whatever, your school wires or your Google Classroom. You can do that from here. If you go down just a little bit, we're going to address more options in a second. But under the share options, you can actually share directly to your Google Classroom. That's what the icon stands for. And if you tap on that, it'll ask, it'll ask which of your Google Classrooms you would like to share it to. Remember, you logged into Google, your district Google account. So this thing is happy to send anything wherever you want in the Google, Google sphere. If you'd like to publish it to YouTube, you may do that, and again, it will um, facilitate that for you. And I, we don't really address embed codes, but if you have a question, please contact us. Again, we'll look at more options in a minute. Finally, if you ne need to download this, uh, you are certainly welcome to do that, and this will walk you right through it. It's pretty straightforward. What I recommend doing before you do any of the shares, though, is to go up here in the upper left-hand corner and rename your video by tapping on it and just typing over the video. I like to name my videos with the, the main topic and then a subtopic, and then if it's a draft, I make sure I know which draft it is, first draft, second draft. Uh, if you have the pro version, we'll talk about editor during that time. I had it um, on a trial period for a short time, so I'll be able to help you out with that. But anyway, um, that's about it. As I was recording earlier, by the way, those drawing tools popped up. Know that these drawing tools are part of the recording now. They're not here for me to edit this video. All right, so this is that first little pop open I told you I was going to talk about under shareable link. If you need this to be a private video and not a, a shareable video, go ahead and modify the link right here. And um, down here, let's look at that one. Below share to classroom, publish in YouTube and get an embed code. You cannot send it in your Gmail. So don't choose that. And if you need a QR code, obviously it'll generate one for you. But Okay, and the last thing is, if you are not going to be uh, copying that link immediately and you're not going to be pushing it into your Google Classroom immediately, you should know where to find those videos. Um, automatically, when you uh, registered or rather logged into Screencastify for the first time, Screencastify made a folder for you. Yours probably won't be blue. I changed the color of mine. But Screencastify folder is sitting there waiting for you in your district Google Drive and I'm going to tap mine and see that I've got a whole bunch of videos I've made. Many of them are untitled so that's why I stress name it as soon as possible. If for some reason I haven't renamed it, I can rename it right here and now by right clicking and then scrolling down to um, where to go? There you go, rename and I can rename it right here. So this is um, my fun video about algebra. That's what I did earlier today. Algebra. There we go. And now I'll be able to figure out what's what. Also, not for nothing, but when I make a mistake, it is immediately saving that video so quickly. So I think at some point I'm going to go through these and make sure I'm deleting those videos that I consider flops. Have a great time with Screencastify. Again, I will be making one about how to uh, upgrade and have a nice afternoon.